God damn, that guy is just like the worst in the world. How dare he abandon me? This breakup with this partner, which is really so devastating. And it triggered a lot of stuff from childhood, but I didn't know it at the time. Through like practicing breath work, every other facet of my life changed. Yeah. Like my finances improved. Uh, my my, my self-esteem and self-worth improved. I was attracting better people into my life. More opportunities were coming, more abundance was flowing. And like, you, I couldn't, I could not deny that it was breath work. How dare he do this? And I feel like so shallow and just so worthless. And, and I was just in tears every day and going into therapy once a week for months, just crying. Wow. And just unleashing and just going, I don't know, like I, I knew that the, the breakup kind of facilitated it, but it wasn't the root cause of it. Mm -hmm. And so part of that journey for me was really kind of hitting rock bottom, um, finding a way for me to move through what I was feeling. And I, you know, did a lot of meditating. I, I had been meditating since I was like a teenager. Wow. So meditation for me was actually something that I practiced, but it wasn't enough. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't like move the needle with what I was going through. You needed something different. I needed something different. And, and at certain times that might've been enough for certain circumstances yeah. or talk therapy could have been enough for certain circumstances, but yeah. sometimes you need something different. You need something more. Exactly. I did. I was, I was kind of yearning for that, for that thing that, that could pull me out of it and help me kind of really understand what I was going through. And I did a lot of, um, classes, mm -hmm. you know, I did, I did some sound healing. Um, I, I went to Reiki. I, I, um, went to sound baths. Um, I tried pretty much everything. I kind of dappled. Right. Yeah. And then it wasn't until I did my first breathwork class. Uh, thinking that we were just going to be doing like kundalini yoga, like just sitting there and just breathing. And I didn't quite, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Yeah, cause so. <laughs> that's, that's true. A lot of people, they think that, you know, uh, if you've ever taken like a, a kundalini yoga class or some of the, the breathing, it's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, and you, you think that that's what you're going to be doing, you know, something along those lines, but it's definitely very different yeah. than that. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> and like Kundalini yoga, I think is fantastic. Yeah, I, you don't I, know. I Everything it. has its place, yeah. everybody, you know, like therapy has its place, <laughs> meditation has its place, place yeah. breath work, yoga, they all work. But sometimes this is what I'm hearing is yeah. that sometimes we need different tools to get us out of different p points in our life. Exactly. Exactly. And everyone's different and everyone processes life differently. Yeah. So for me, when I did my first breathwork class, um, my first like response was, this is so powerful and scary mm -hmm. because what's happening to my, to my body. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. Yeah. Like, what am I tapping into? And truth be told, I actually didn't go back to breath work for a few weeks. I kind wow. of did a class and just went, this is really intense. And um, I'd actually, <laughs> I remember doing, doing the class and there was probably about like, 40 to 50 students in the class. So it was ultra intense because <laughs> like everybody's- Pre-COVID times. <laughs> yeah, pre-COVID times, everyone's yelling and crying and screaming. And I was just going, okay, uh-huh. And I, and I got that little taste of it because um, it, it allowed me to kind of, you know, tap into the place I go to when I meditate. And quite often I say, breath work is like meditation on a freeway, which, mm. which Jay Bradley says a lot. And it's so true because, you know, you're getting to that point a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. So you're getting to that point that, that would sometimes take 20 or 30 minutes in deep meditation to get to. So for me, it was kind of like recognizing that this modality was actually, you know, doing something mm -hmm. beyond what I was used to. It was effective. Yeah. And so it took me a while to go back. And then eventually I did. And I kept up my practice like once a week. And, you know, it's really funny because whilst what, what, like what led me to that practice was really getting through this breakup. But what had actually happened was through like practicing breath work, every other facet of my life changed. Yeah. Like my finances improved. 
Uh, my, my, my self-esteem and self-worth improved. I was attracting